button because it really helps me out, lets me know I'm doing something right, and uh, well, you know I love you guys, so it would be awesome to see a little uh, subscriber Ruski. Yo, what is up guys, Duke DC here. Welcome to another video. We are over here at Woods Cycle Country in uh, Texas. I am just south of Austin, Texas. I'll put the exact city in the banner. Of course, this dealership will be linked below. They have been amazing today. We are gonna be taking out this beautiful 2019 Kawasaki ZX6R636. This Vulcan, a couple other bikes, doing a little bit of work here. Really, really cool experience, honestly. They are super awesome, so please check them out. As always, this video is brought to you by Rollick. Rollick is a company connecting consumers like you and me to a network of certified dealers like Woods Cycle Country to provide the most transparent buying experience when it comes to ATVs, side-by-sides, RVs, and of course, motorcycles. All right, guys, you already know. Let's jump into some specs here. So for the engine, we have a four-stroke, four-cylinder with 16 valves, and it is liquid-cooled, 636 cc, hence the name. Uh, this produces 52.1 pound-feet of torque at 11,500 RPM. We have a six-speed return shift transmission. It is chain-driven. In terms of suspension, you got a 41 millimeter inverted Showa SFF BP forks in the front, a bottom link uni track, gas charged shock in the rear, dual 310 millimeter disc brakes in the front with Nissan four piston monoblock calipers. In terms of details and dimensions, it has a curb weight of 430 pounds or 425.6 pounds if you do not get the ABS version, a 4.5 gallon gas tank, and this comes with Kawasaki's limited 12 month warranty. All right guys, so welcome to the 2019 Kawasaki ZX6R636. A lot of you guys have probably been waiting for me to ride this motorcycle. Trust me, I have been waiting as well. I've been interested in this bike for years. Um, I love it. I think it's an amazing mid-weight super sport bike from Kawasaki and it has the option brand new of being sub $10,000. So that's right, for $9,999 you can buy this bike without ABS and for $10,999 you can get it with ABS. So something you guys should know is that I have been looking at Ninja 636s for years. Uh, ever since this bike came back out, I've been incredibly interested in it. Wow, the gearing is so interesting. It actually pulls, like the engine braking is so intense that when you shift, if you don't automatically come back onto that gear, you, <laughs> you find yourself slowing down tremendously. Like watch this. That's second gear and the engine braking is very, very powerful. This bike does come in at a lower cost than a lot of the competitors um, and is one of, in my personal opinion, the best mid-weight super sport bikes out there on the market. It means that it's probably, it's probably worth it. Is that the river road? None of these roads have signs. Okay. I have no idea where I am. Okay guys, really quickly, let's do a little walk around of this 2019 Kawasaki ZX6R. You can see it comes in this really beautiful gray. It's almost like a, uh, like a Nardo gray from Audi. Um, of course, you know, stock exhaust can be changed out. Although this bike sounds really, really good. And uh, I love the black wheels. It's just a beautiful looking bike. We're gonna keep riding. The only thing about a super sport bike and reviewing one on public roads is that you just can't test out what this bike is really built for. I mean, this is a track bike with a license plate and turn signals. It seriously is. I think you could take it to any track event and have just such an amazing experience on it uh, for a relatively low entry cost. Now, I know $10,000 is not a, a small amount of money. It's a pretty large amount of money. But think about what you could do on a track with this bike. Like you would never outgrow it. You would be constantly learning how to manipulate the, the power, the nimbleness, everything about it in your favor. I mean, oh my God, it screams. 
screams, it screams. And that's the stock exhaust. And I'm not even touching the rev limiter because this bike has three miles on it. <laughs> Okay, so real quick, we've got a little traffic ahead of us. So, uh, all right, you've got an analog tachometer, a digital speedometer, you've got a gear indicator, a fuel gauge, a oil temperature. Uh, of course, you have, oh wow, does it have active MPGs? That's pretty cool. So right now, 34.5. It's a little bit slow to react if that is active MPG, because there's not a chance. Yeah, it went down to 24.9. Um, so that's kind of interesting. You have, of course, Showa forks, fully adjustable front and rear Nissan calipers in the rear discs, dual discs. Uh, the braking on this thing is awesome. The turn-in is awesome. The power is fantastic. I don't like the engine braking. I think it's a little too aggressive, and maybe that's just my personal preference. Okay, moto vlogger in a new city. One of the more challenging things I've ever done. literally just leave it in third you probably put it down in the second gear on a road like this going 40 50 miles an hour wow it wants to turn in so bad this is pretty cool that's not half bad interesting guys so as we start heading back here let me round up some thoughts the zx6r i think is an amazing platform as a mid-weight super sport bike in a class that is inevitably kind of dying off which is really sad because the 600 cc bikes i think are very close to coming back i mean aprilia is talking about making a 600 cc version of the rsv4 um you know of course kawasaki suzuki honda all have 600 cc versions of this bike and it really does do a lot for the industry. This is a relatively lighter weight, lower displacement motorcycle. You don't need a thousand cc's, you don't need 200 horsepower to have an amazing experience on a bike. And for most people, they're gonna prefer this little bit of like a lighter weight version of those heavyweight bikes. So this is it. I mean, really, I think it's a fantastic example. The inline four produces a lot of power, a beautiful engine note. The one gripe that I have is that the engine braking is very abrupt. And maybe that's just part of this class. I mean, this is the first 600cc super sport bike I've ridden since the Honda CBR 600 that I did years ago. And so you'll, you will have to bear with me there. I'm a super naked guy through and through. So these super sport bikes are a whole new playing field for me. It's a shame that this isn't like a super open road. And of course, I've gone through all the specs and features on this bike. Uh, if you are interested in more information, I'll put as much as I can find in the description so that you can at the very least have a one-stop shop to uh, viewing this video, learning about the motorcycle, especially for consumers, because that's kind of what this is for. This is a video for people who might be looking to buy a Kawasaki ZX6R. I will say that after even this 25, 30 minute ride, my back is hurting. And uh, although this is a relatively comfortable seating position in comparison to some of the more hyper Italian bikes that I've been on, it's certainly not as comfortable as anything uh, like a super, like a normal sport bike, naked bike, something like that. Don't bike in the entire <laughs> lane. Here's my favorite bridge. God, it would suck to high side right here. Right, guys so we are heading back to woods cycle country of course big shout out to them link in the description below check them out if you are down here south of austin texas of course i will put all their information linked in the description below big shout out to raw if you are not from this area you're looking for a 2019 kawasaki zx6r hit up that first link and see if you can't find one in your area for a great price and as always thank you so much for watching hit that subscribe button like this video if you enjoyed it comment down below and as always i will see you on the next one peace <laughs>